Here we go, it's time to go, and this is Medieval Dynasty. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are right there, close to our home, right? And, you know, we, we are on an investigation to a missing person right now, and... I normally walk the, the street first, and then the coastline, and I found something right over here. On our way back to the place where we did start this quest. And so let's see, you right, there we go, and I will show you guys where I did find it, right over there apparently. And over here is a missing person, so yeah, very interesting. Well, could be a missing person, right, you know, uh, could be the remains of it, could be just like someone who just did bail on the mission to deliver the partial of a rye who knows who knows who knows we will just have to find out together not shall we i will see you guys once something uh you know happens or once we do find the little bugger <clears throat> oh there might actually be something on that island there right i will i will check that island out um we are in the vicinity right now where the missing person might be that's very strange, just the shadow of the grass. Alright, I thought it was something like blood or something. But no, let's go right over there and see what this island beholds. It could be Treasure Island, who knows, right? Who knows indeed. Let's do it, let's do it, let's uh, do it. White-tailed eagle spotted. Alright, there's one. Oh, what the? Stone? <gasps> 150 coin! Damn, boy, that... No way! Oh my god. Well, we already found everything, though. There goes the mystery of this island. But that's nice. That's nice. D do you see that I'm just looking now at every tree truck, you know, looking for more? Oh my god. But that's very good to have because with that, we can actually buy hopefully some clothing pieces, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how expensive those are. Hopefully not too much. Oh. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, that's a barrel. All right. Well, riches I had, so that means that, you know, we have to to work maybe a little bit harder though, right? You know, to find the missing person. We are getting easily distracted after all. Rot. Uh, created by food, rotting over time, can be used for crafting fertilizer at the workbench in the farm. Barn. Alright, not bad. Very useful stuff, right? Yeah, I kind of have an ominous feeling like something really bad did happen though, because look at all these cards scattered around this countryside. I think a whole lot of travelers and merchants and so on <clears throat> are being, um, well, whacked, you know, on the road. I have no idea though, right? Because of the bandits, maybe? Hmm. Let's just follow the river, right? I'm just looking around and around, but so far I see nobody standing. It's kind of disturbing, though, but you know, like, uh, if I would be not doing my job, I would be somewhere at the river taking a drink, you know. And it seems to be a nice place. I do not see anybody there, so screw. Oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? Where did... Look at this blood trail, though. Did it start here in the forest, or... No. So, it seems like... Somewhere here around the road... It did start. Because the drips are not all too... Far ahead, you know? Uh, or maybe... I have no idea. There's another one over there. Yeah, see, they are they are far apart, so the bleeding was not furious. Furiously, oh. Okay. Are you kidding me? So he was whacked around here, probably, right? Okay, you know what? Let's go all the way over there. Because over there, you know, it just increases with the blood splatters, and it means that... His movement, trying to go back to town. After all, there's a town there. Danica, I believe it's called. Um, you know, like, he did rapture it more, maybe. Or he tried to pull something out. There's a campsite over there. Damn. Okay. Oh, what shall we try out? 
Let's just go here first. You know, but if he did pull it out, maybe he did pull it out wrong. Oh, we got a bow, my boy. Oh my god, some arrows. I'm so happy about this right now. Um, do we have anything? Wait a minute. The letter is not glowing up. Is that what I think it is? Copper knife. How sweet. Okay, big boy. It's a shame, though, that nothing is glowing up, but that's because it does not belong to me. An iron axe. Super nice. Some wood. This is like Christmas, though. But we have to be careful, right? Maybe someone is, uh... Is being badly hurt around here and there, maybe. Alright, we did throw uh, three spears away or whatsoever, right? So uh, we have to be able to move around. Um, and we have a bow this time, so it's not all too bad yet. See what I mean? He starts to blood furiously, though. Bleed. Okay, here's another splatter. A stick, a walking stick. Maybe he used it for? I don't know. Okay, here's more. Oh, there he is! My man! Oh, sorry that I choked, you know, uh, the scenic route. Please help me, I'm badly wounded. Damn, you're sure I'm bleeding a lot. I've been attacked. <coughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. You're not as worker, aren't you? The one who was supposed to deliver the ride to Gustovia. Let's ride here, take the parcel if you want. Just please get some help. I'm on my way, hold on, take this. It should help a bit with the pain. Broadleaf plantain. Yes. Thank you, stranger. I'm on my way. Try to keep pressure on the wound. What? Which way? We have to go there first. Oh my god. Why not to Danica, though? Wouldn't that be wiser? I don't know. Maybe I'm not the smartest man around here, though, right? I mean... See the difference? My god. <laughs> Let's go, though. Are you? Yes, Matilda. A newcomer. Yes, indeed. Show me your wares, ma'am. Uh, we want to sell some stuff that we really don't want to have right now, though, right? Um, da -da -da -da, some leather too. She can use it for a profession, I suppose. Uh, da -la 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 -la. and then I want to get some. Yeah, I don't know. Some fur stuff. Fur hood. Five hundred fifty-five, my boy. Fur shoes. Uh, for boots can we afford no we cannot we will be back madam I, if we are going to survive winter it has to be fur right okay all of these three wants to to join a town somewhere it's a shame that we do not know where that might be <laughs> and maybe we are getting lucky though that we can find some boots somewhere i don't know but be very very nice though after all we have seen a bow we have found a bow and we have grabbed the bow. There has to be more to Oh! There has to be more to life than just bows, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, bronze axe. Man, I wish we could just see whatever lies around here, though. But all of this, we are just going to store right at our place. Hmm. I kind of want to go take this shortcut. But I think right now would be the best if we are going to just stick to the road, right? Oh, that's a bad badger. Let's get the F out of there. Yeah, you know, mad badgers though, right? You know, they are tough. They really are. And... Is that my place there? We find a crow. Hmm. Yeah, all right, we have to go this way. There's another cart over there. <clears throat> Hopefully the girl is staying alive, right? Because it's it's getting dark already. Ooh. Flex, yes, sure. Sickle. Sickle, sickle, sickle. Got this pickle, all right, and it's about that. Sure, we are getting mighty slow, mighty thirsty, there, little birdie. Indeed, it's singing with us. So we do need a whole lot of money, though, right? Now that I come to think about it, 
Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Around at 1k, almost. I think 900 gold, Groschen or whatever the currency is called here. That's a whole lot of money, though. And so we set on on a journey to keep that one dude alive. <laughs> I'm kind of mocking the situation though, right? But I'm, I'm kind of concerned. Hopefully we will find him in the future again, right? Just, just shining bright and all. I just feel like a dumbass. Like, looking for a specific person to help us instead of an entire town close by, you know? Well, 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 we better run a little bit, right? Before we cannot do anything in this episode, sadly. That will be really, really bad. But, uh... You know, I see this game as a journal. I do that with every, every single survival game, right? Some episodes, you know, like shit hits the fan all over the place and everybody is just staring with mouth open, you know, like, oh my God, what's going to happen here? You know, or what's, what's going on? And other times, you know, it's just like, enjoy the nature, big boy, you know, you're getting plenty of that. Hello, about the ride delivery. Yes, I found your man wounded on the road. He's been attacked and needs help. I followed the whole route there and back again and found no... Whoa, that's so dark, my boys. Let's go for the first one. Oh my, I must send someone promptly. I gave him some medicine. He should be able to pull through. Uh, um, thank you very much for the help. Will you handle the delivery for the ride? I don't know when I... Sure, don't worry about it. Uh, you're amazing. Here are some coins for the, all your help. Keep it. Your workers uh, will need it more than me. Um, through that though, but thank you. We need it too. It is a job and for a job we are going to get paid. You know, 300 coins. Nice. At least we have, you know, like a fur something for our ears, right? That's good. Now we only need 350, 370 for the boots. And then I'm a happy boy. But the thing though, man, you know, like, you know, we need to get paid. After all, it is a, a job, you know. We are running, we are wasting our time. We cannot collect, we cannot build, we cannot do anything. Of course, man. It will be, you know, we are not going to, to go as the roleplay saints, you know, around here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy! You can do it, buddy! <laughs> we were a little bit quicker, huh? It's the final bunny. The game is very quiet right now, though. It's like... I scared every being around here. They did hear my voice. And they're all committing uh, seppuku, you know? Or they are going to last for seven days until the curse of my voice is killing them slowly. Normally, I always did build my town in this field over here, you know, right at the forest edge over there. And, you know, like because there's a clay source close by, there's water over there and tons and tons and tons of trees. And over there is actually a nice little cave, you know, and all that stuff. But ah, we wanted to have something else, right? Something where we are forced to be creative. Oh, yeah, and there are tons of these bushes around, man. That's just some awesome stuff, right? The berry collector. But right now, I just want to look around and see if we can find something, right? After all, we have discovered the what? Oh! You know, the way back, we are going to do that. Moves around here. Oh, my. Well, wait a minute. The world's always there around here. Interesting, though. Hmm. Turtle Banner! Well, this is getting a little bit dark in this town, right? You know, well, in my older towns, one might say. So maybe we should actually hurry up, though, before I accidentally bump into an animal that will attack me, like a badger or a boar. My god. Alright. It's, it's not that far anymore, though, I suppose. But maybe... Maybe, baby, it will be good if we are going to build this. Oh, yes. Let's go. Sleep, me boys. Yes, we are a hobo, but we have a house. Yes, we are just not using it. <laughs> yeah, boys, we better hurry up, right? I mean, you know, after all... Oh, look at this. Oh, wait a minute. A free shuffle. All right. Bronze, even. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, we actually might go over here and go and check out this, right? Because for some extra resources, maybe we are getting lucky. Only three clay. 
Um, but yeah, you know, hopefully we are getting lucky. That means some more coin and stuff like that. It's always beautiful. And that means that we can buy some fur. Oh, we are carrying too much. All right, I thought we did find something. But all in all, we better hurry anyways, because, you know, we don't want to have the town to run out of beer, right? That's going to be very bad. Very bad, I tell you. Brawls everywhere. Shootings with bows, of course, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine, though? There must be one heavy alcoholic town, right? You know, a bunch of savages. Oh, we cannot reach that? That's a shame. We are so over encumbered, right? Uh, clay. Yes, and we want to drop half of that. And now we want to drop the other half of that. Nice. So if we are coming back here, we can at least pick up one, right? Alright, well, nothing. Nothing at all. Kinda disappointing, though. Kinda, kinda, kinda. Do 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 Kaboom! Right way below your legs. Sounds kind of dirty, right? All right, and here we are. Okay, I thought she was shouting at me there for a second. Dravanija, welcome back. Did someone order a ride delivery? Let me check my list. Everything's youth. Uh, really? Of everlasting youth. Uh, world peace. Ex uh, extinct. What's extinction of mosquitoes? Right. Yes. Here you go. Oh, I could have flirted with her, my beautiful lady. Right. Did you find any problems on the way? A few, but nothing. A big time adventurer like me could not handle. Um. Yes. I feel sorry for the slain dragons already. You should. The, the, the werewolves definitely weren't happy about it. Here's your payment. Conquer. Ooh, 200. Damn, girl. Uh, here's your payment. Conquer of the simple errand. I bet you farewell. As a wealthy man in that case, take care, Dobronija. All right, very lovely, though. Nice. Angry with me? Flirting with your wifey? Hello, Rasimir. Are you getting settled? The filly is treating me nicely so far. Uh, that's wonderful, Rasimir. But you came at a poor time. My duties as a castellan await me. Of course, I understand. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's... I'm not sure, to be honest. There's been a murder. Oh my! I thought things like that don't happen here too often. Great! I mean, not, uh, not for the disease, obviously. But there's that excitement and mystery... The valley is lacking. No, let's go for the first one. Um, because he don't. I'm just about to go to the crime scene and question the witnesses. And I honestly don't know what to expect. Remember, everybody lies. I'm sure you'll take good care of the matter. Let's go for number one. Huh? I've actually met a limp medic once that used to say that a lot. Medic that couldn't heal himself. I'm sure he was great at his job. Jokes aside, Rasimir, that's really a serious matter. I won't be able to share more stories with you at the moment. But I believe there is someone you should meet. His name is Sambor. He was one of us, the pack, I mean. Are you serious? And he lives here? In the valley? Oh, that's uh, right. All of them do actually. Here, I've marked Sambor's house on your map. You should pay him a visit. Great, I'll go there right away. But beware, calling Sambor friendly is like calling being stung by a bee right in the tip of your manhood. Pleasant. Damn, imagine being stung there. Dude. <laughs> the image you have given me, you satanic bastard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sure you're exaggerating. He was part he was a part of the remen uh, reminders after all. But what does the reminders stand for? The great knight or reminders of something? Don't say I didn't warn you. I'll be on my way then. Alright, but there is a quest around here that I want to conquer too. Uh, let's see. Uh Maybe over here. Yep, here it is, probably. Oh, that's the hint. I believe, yep. Auto save. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> nice to meet you too, Zygmunta. Uh, have you heard anything interesting lately? Uh, okay, see you later, girl. Um, 
probably in here. Oh, oh, damn. Ah, Sobimir. Greetings, can I help you with something? Not really, no. Are you sure? You seem very upset. I got into an argument with my wife and now she doesn't even want to talk to me. Maybe I could talk to her and convince her to forgive you. Uh, you will do that for a stranger. Thank you so much. Be right back. Yorgoniva. Hello, fair lady. Hello, what do you want? I think you should make up with your husband. He misses you. <laughs> He's right there, dude. And he sends some stranger to me to... But to me to instead of coming here by himself. He is so lazy. I can't even remember the last time he prepared fruit pie for me. Continue. He used to do it once a week. Now he just comes back from work and goes straight to bed. Maybe he's dying inside, right? Maybe he's depressed. Maybe his strength is waning. I think I should go. My boy? What's going on here? Hi. I couldn't convince your wife to come back. She said that you became lazy, something about fruit pie, and that she's angry that you would send a stranger instead of talking with her yourself. The problem is, you know, the fruit pie is not the, the reason. There's always something behind. Whatever behavior or reason you see, there's something way more behind it. And obviously, he doesn't spend time with his wife. Um, wait, you mentioned fruit pie. That's it. I'm sure that I've prepared it <clears throat> like I used to. She will give me another chance. Continue. Stranger, I had to ask you for your help again, but I need some ingredients to make the meal. Could you get them for me? I already have some, so I only need a few more. All right, be right back as soon as possible. Thank you. Can we even do this, though? Successful flirting. Well, that's cool. Um... Unigo story, good morning, my neighbors. Uh, that must be a joke, right? From Welcome to America. Berries. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Move to you too, big boy. Well, I was not even thinking about this quest, though, but, you know, fine is fine. Wait a minute. We already had it, though. We just collected a bunch more. All righty then, I suppose. Hey there, big boy. Here is everything you ask for. Thank you so much. I have some coins stashed away. 55. Wow. Stashed away for emergencies. And I think you've earned them. Now I'm going to start cooking. Glad to help. That's my boy, though. Dobrimira. A newcomer. Hello there. Uh, romance. No, we cannot romance. Uh, where can I find small talk? Uh, how's your day going? All right. That's about that, huh? All right, um, probably we cannot talk to her like that, though, because she despises the way how we look. Nah, probably not. That's that's a, a savage, but wasn't there a girl here that needed a hammer? I remember something like that, though. Maybe it's her. A five, because, you know, if we cannot finish this quest, because we do need something that we cannot make, right? You know, we can just reload. Stranger. Greetings, darling. Romance. Sorry, but I'm married. All right. Have you heard anything interesting recently? No. Oh, it's actually inside. Oh, there we go. Ludwig. A newcomer. Yes. A pleasure to meet you. Can I help you with something? I could use your help. I'm an elderly man who is unable to craft tools on his own. Could you please bring me an axe? Uh, yes, sure. I can do that. Here we go, big man. Here's the axe you wanted. Uh, 50. Nice. Thank you so much. I know a few crafting recipes from my old days. I'll show you them. Thank you. Oh, really? The workshop? Bam, 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 bam. New axe. Very cool. Very happy, though. Very happy that we can finally make that, right? Because now it just starts the entire game. <laughs> okay, enough about that. Uh, right around here we have another quest. In here? In here. Uh, it's this one. Yes. Oh, it's Owen. I remember him. What can I do for you? Hi, my name is Rusty Miam. Uh, hi, I'm Owen. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? No, but we haven't met yet. I came here from the south. I'm looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Good luck to you, then. Continue. As for me, I'm a farmer. My job is to cultivate fields. In fact, I do the same work every day, year by year. Doesn't that... Of doesn't it get boring over time? If I were you, uh, I would die for monotomy. 
Of course, it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in your life over and over again? But my family needs my help, and I am doing my best to provide for them. I did not mean to offend you, I'm sorry. There is no need for your apologize, you bastard. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed and short-tempered recently. There is a delicate matter that won't let me focus on my work. Oh, oh, what's that, Alvin? Um, it may seem pr uh, petty, but I'm really tired of my mother's conflict with Yarokniwa. Her son, uh, d what, Dilbor, um, wants to leave my little sister Olga alone. Continue. I understand it's just a game for him. After all, when I was his age, I played with Dobromira, his older sister. I pretended to be a knight, equipped with a stick instead of a sword. But anyway, I managed to protect her honor. Like every knight does, it's adorable in its way. Anyway, let's get down to earth. I think he needs something to keep him busy and away from my sister, so that you could work with, with a clear mind again, huh? It will be nice indeed. I'll see what I can do. That sounds like a very noble goal, right? Oh, in story, track this quest. Where's the little bust? Um, it's around there. But first, we want to do a flirt. Well, there's one lady here. Newcomer, pleasure to meet you. A little bit on the ripe side, though, right? Um, sorry, but I'm married. Wait a minute. There are no, there are no fine ladies around here that wants to. No. Okay, interesting. You know, that's an interesting name, a German name. Uh, yeah, Wilhelm. I did not think, you know, uh... Damn, you know, like, uh, there were so little people around here that want to join towns. Delbor. Scoot over, kid! I need to run. Be good. Hello, traveler. Scoot, scoot over, kid. Oh my god. Oh, oh, can I help you? Scoot over, kid. No, that's about that. Wait. What can I, do for you, mister? I need to run. Be good. What is this? Deliver to Delabor a stick. Oh my god. Uh, I kind of feel like weird right now, right? Just to talk to a kid over and over like that. There we go. We got three sticks. And hopefully he's not going to beat... The oh. Alright, we are very... Uh, how shall I say? Ah, uh, fragile. Yes. Dilbor. Hi, you're Dilbor, right? Yes. You look very strong for your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a knight? It's my dream. Are you a knight? Well, maybe you can only become a um, militia man, though, but that's fine too, right? No, but I know quite a lot about them. Did you know that many of them started learning to fight with a wooden sword already at your age? Where could I get such a sword, not a knight? <laughs> Loving it. It just happens that I have one with me, and I can give it to you, because you are clearly worthy. I'm honored. It may look insuspicious, but it is certainly an excellent practice weapon for an aspiring knight like you. Give a stick. It looks uh, a bit like a regular stick to surprise your opponents. And do you know what else knights do besides fighting battles? Well, that's a good question, right? They ride horses? This as well, but most of all they protect the ladies and children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them. Really? Sounds like a lot of work. Yes, of a yes, this is the most important principle of chivalry. Alright, thank you for the swords, not a knight. Now I'm going to defend those in need. You're welcome, young master. You're welcome. Very cool, right? Very cool. Um... But we are way over recording, so by that, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.